Welcome to the best dang Madden series on all of YouTube. Welcome to the Durson Network. This is Rebuilding the Jacksonville Jaguars, a Madden 22 franchise rebuild series. Please like and subscribe. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter at Durson Network. Coming off our best victory of the year against the Atlanta Falcons at home, a 34-14 victory. We now have our first playoff picture update of this season. I believe we are ahead of the division, so we should be a pretty high seed, and we are a three seed here. Only week 12, still a lot of football left to play for sure. A look around the NFL in week 12, Chicago defeated the Detroit Lions 35-5. Dallas beat Las Vegas. New Orleans crushed Buffalo 49-6. Tampa Bay beat Indianapolis 33-27. New York Jets defeated the Houston Texans. The Texans still have not won a game all season. Philadelphia 42, Giants 17. Carolina got another victory here against Miami. Tennessee beat New England. Cincinnati beat Pittsburgh. Every time I see Pittsburgh lose, it's a good thing because we have their first round draft pick in the coming draft. There is our victory against Atlanta. Denver beat the Chargers. Green Bay beat the Rams. San Francisco beat Minnesota. Baltimore lost to Cleveland on Sunday night football. And on Monday night football, Seattle lost to Washington 16-14. to Players of the week on the offensive side of the football, Christian McCaffrey, running back, had 226 rushing yards, four rushing touchdowns. Not the first time he's won a player of the week award this season. Jarvis Landry won it for the AFC. Defensive side of the football, Donald once again with three sacks. And Brown, the linebacker for Tennessee, had eight tackles and an interception. Players receiving upgrades heading into our Week 12 matchup are a backup guard and a backup defensive tackle. Nothing to note here. Heading into Los Angeles to play the 7-4 and four Los Angeles Rams, tough football team, a lot of great defenders. When you think about their defensive front, you have Vaughn Miller right here playing the outside linebacker, edge rushing position for them. And then, of course, Aaron Donald up the middle. And on the outside, you have Jalen Ramsey amongst other playmakers. So have to be careful with the football. But our defense does manage to get a stop early in the game. And let's get this thing started. Can see our players are tired. That's going to be an issue and something to keep an eye on, no question about it. Starting it off with a dive up the middle, have some pretty good field position already to start the game. ETN now up the middle on second down. Third and five here, looking to make a play through the air, and there is ETN for the first down. ETN has been absolutely essential, not just in the screen game, but in the pass game overall. Here we are going to a screen, but he's just such a a weapon for a young wide or a young quarterback to get the ball to have to be careful with Robinson today as he's tired and we don't want him to fumble going with the stretch here Arnold in motion and it draws him and we do get to the outside and more for a first down can see Arnold is back we did actually start man hurts because of the way he's played in Arnold's absence but here we're going to look to get Arnold the ball That play did not work out in our favor. Actually went down for a loss and looks like we could face another loss here. Now we're in a tough position on third and goal from the 11. Third and goal, going to keep it safe here and just run a quick play to Isabella and let's get three. Field goal looks good and it is. Offense seems to be moving the ball and they did manage to get a touchdown there. We got to respond. ETN gets another carry here. Mixing in Hyde here on second and eight. Coming right back to Hyde here on third and short, and we get the first down. Looking to pass here on first down. Play action fake. Robinson's open. Just get it to him and take the yardage you can, and that's going to be a gain of 15 for a first down. Isabella here on the sweep. He's got an angle. Can he break him to the outside? He does, and then some. Nice play there by Isabella. ETN here gets the ball to start the second quarter. Second and four, let's go to Robinson and try and see if we can get a first down. There is, that defensive tackle is some guy to mess with. He just blows up our interior O-line every single play. It seems like Donald's in the backfield. Third and five, need to run a play away from their playmakers in Donald and the corner Ramsey. And here we do, and we're able to get a first down. Now getting Agnew involved on the sweep, and he here again could have something. Can he get in the end zone? No, he can't. 
That should have been a touchdown. To get ETN here in the red zone, he's been unstoppable, but here he gets tackled behind the line of scrimmage. Looks like they're bringing the house here, and they are. Can I get a touchdown? No. Gosh, that was everybody was going to be wide open there. Totally blew it. Going to run it. Haven't had success with this all year. Doesn't look like I'm going to hear either. Shoot. Got an audible here. Moving everybody around. And that's got to be a touchdown. There's Isabella once again. He's been making plays for us. And he gets it done in the end zone. Defense gets a stop. And we have a 10-7 to ball game. Right back to Robinson here on first down. Let's get it to Isabella here on the wide receiver screen. Breaks a tackle. And then some gets a first down. ETN back at it here. Breaks it to the outside. Gets a first down and more. Hyde checking in here for a carry up the middle. Not sure I like this play, but I'm going to go with it. And yeah, definitely don't like it. Kind of throw it away. Third and eight here. Looking to make a play. Shit. And that is Lawrence's 16th interception on the year. Absolutely terrible. Not what I wanted to do there at all, obviously, but gosh dang it. Now we're going to get our four-string running back a carry. He's going to get 15 yards here, number 33. Coming right back to him just for the sake of fresh legs, quite frankly, on the stretch here. Ooh, he's got something now. Now going to hide. If you remember a while back, I said that I was not going to throw more than or I wouldn't throw 17 interceptions on the season. I have 16 right now. So we just got to be more careful with the football. And there's ETN. ETN can't get the first down, and we're going to be forced to punt here at the two-minute warning. Certainly not what we wanted to happen here. We're driving really well there before that interception to Ramsey. Ramsey made a great play, but I should have recognized the coverage. Isabel clearly didn't have the matchup, and it, it was just a terrible decision. And here's a punt. We're used to seeing a lot better out of our punter, but that one was not one of them. Hopefully we can hold the Rams here, and we can't. They get another touchdown. We got to look to get into the half here. Decided I'm going to look to pass. Why not? Just don't turn the ball over, right? Easier said than done, but we're going to go for it. And we got to have somebody open. Timeout. Jones is really effective at working back towards the quarterback when he's on the run. Here we'll get, we'll get it to ETN on a screen, and it looks like it's going to be blown up, but he breaks somehow breaks a tackle and does get out of bounds. No, he doesn't. The clock's going to tick, and we're going to let it right now. It's just not worth the risk. Too many interceptions being thrown. Might chuck it up here to end the half. We're just going to run it out of bounds. We are getting the ball here to start the second half. Down 21-10. to Got to make plays. Unfortunately, giving up that interception touchdown really hurt us. And now we're at a disadvantage in the second half. ETN here on the carry. He's got a big opening. We're going to have to start worry, worrying less about who's tired and who isn't if we want to win this ball game. RPO here. Right back to Robinson. Little play action here on third and short. Mm, don't really like what I see and couldn't get it done. 13 for 17 is Lawrence. We're going to pass the ball here. It's fourth and two. We're at the 50 or the 49. We got to make some plays. Could run for it. Uh, he's not going to run for it. Can Chenault make a play? Another interception. That's number 17. Are you kidding me? 17 interceptions now for Lawrence. I said it wouldn't happen, and it certainly has. Managed to get a stop on defense. Can we make a comeback? We got to risk it to get the biscuit. And we almost get interception, but he breaks a tackle. Robinson with a nice play there. Got to start being more aggressive, even with the two turnovers, two interceptions already. Threw another pick, didn't he? Yep. We're getting into another one of these games, folks, where we just give it away with the turnovers. That's 18 interceptions on the year for Lawrence. Just got to look to get a score. And we're not going to get it all back in one play, fellas. Come on. That's been the real problem for us. We've been trying to make it all up in one play, and that just does not work. 
There's ETN with a nice play out of the backfield. Let's go no huddle. Second and 10 here after the drop. Let's look to run it. Get a first down. Nice. Hide in the backfield. We're coming. No huddle. Going to go screen to hide. Probably his first catch of the year. Or one of them. Breaks a couple tackles and nice gainer. Read option. Bites on it. First down maybe by Lawrence. Way to fight. Three rushes for 21 yards and a first down. Uh-oh. A lot of... Got to go back to ETN here. The only guy to be able's He's the only guy that can make any plays. Third and long. Manhurts is open. Drops it. Going for the field goal. Probably won't make it, but don't really have too many other good options, so we're just going to wing it. It's about as long as I can kick it, and it's not long enough. This second half has been painful after. As good as Lawrence played in the first half to come out here and lay an egg like he has and turn the ball over the way he has in the second half is disappointing. Going with the play action on first down. Going to have X. Nope. Fresh legs, 33 here on the carry to end this terrible quarter. Breaks a couple tackles. Good run. Got to make a play here on third down. Mmm... No, too far. Fourth down, got to make a play, right? That's what we got to do. Going with the play action here on third down. To the outside, there is Chenault, and he makes the play. Play action in the other direction here. A is going to be open, and it's overthrown. Passing it here. Almost intercepted again. Fumbled. What is happening? Oh my good heavens. Well, this is the second egg we've laid this season. First one about four or five episodes ago. And here we've done it again. Down 38. 38 to 10. Going into the... We're already in the fourth quarter. I'm just... This is a mess. Oh my gosh! I got. I should take Lor Arnold, or I should take Lawrence out. Probably he's already got three interceptions, two fumbles. One of those were returned for a touchdown. One of the interceptions were returned for a touchdown. It's just been one thing after another today. Got to keep passing it though, right? Here is, is Robinson getting involved. Very slow. Not going to make anything happen there on first and twenty. Second and nineteen here. Get it to Agnew. Try and make something happen. Third and nine here. We're probably in fourth down territory. There's Isabella. Makes a good play for the first down. First and ten here. Tight end's going to be open. Nice play. At this point, we're playing for pride. We have just not shown up, and this is the team we had to show up against. Running it here with Lawrence for the first down. ETN on the ground. Can you cut it back? Really felt like we had control of this game through most of the first half, but really lost control pretty quick. And then the third quarter, we really blew it. Going with another play action here on first down. Chenault has just not done enough for us, quite frankly. We've, we've tried and tried and tried. There's Manhurts getting involved, but Chenault has been disappointing this season. Third and four, we're in four down territory, so we're going to run the ball here. Got to stop. No more runs after this play. Not that we're going to come back and win or anything, but we got to have some pride. ETN on another catch. Jones here could come wide open. And he does touchdown. Going for two here. Isabella makes a play. They just ran out the clock there, first down after first down on the run game, and we lost big 38-18. to 18. More importantly, three turnovers, three interceptions with Lawrence, I should say. 25 for 39, 191 yards, two touchdowns, three picks. Matthew Stafford, 15 for 23, 197, two TDs, one INT. ETN on the ground, 10 for 61. Nothing really of note. Otherwise, Trevor Lawrence had 33 yards on the ground. ETN, another eight catches, 55 yards. We need to find a receiver on the outside that can make plays. And Jones has been solid for us throughout the year. 
been good in the red zone, good on third down, works with Lawrence well, but he's not going to be the guy who can win on the outside on every single play, and Chenault has proven not to be that either. We really need help on the outside this coming season, most likely in the draft, maybe via free agency. There are going to be some free agents available. Here you can see we did get some sacks. Robertson Harris, Smoot, and Allen each got a sack for us. Meanwhile, in the interceptions, Daniel Thomas, our backup strong safety, actually got involved with an interception there. Tough loss, 38-18 to the Rams. Players receiving upgrades are Josh Allen and Travis Etienne Jr. 7-5 and five now, 12 weeks in the books. We're heading into week 14 against the Tennessee Titans. It is in Tennessee. That'll be a tough matchup for sure. Couldn't get the victory against the Rams. A much better overall rating here at 84, but nonetheless, we still wanted to be much more competitive than we were. We need to get our players some rest and head into Tennessee in a bad mood, and we need to get a victory because we have to finish this season strong, and we haven't locked up a playoff spot just yet. We are 7-5, and five, but it's a close race in our division. Colts are at 7-5 and five as well, and Titans are at 6-6. Six and six. So next week, matchup is indeed pivotal for the rest of this season. Thanks for watching, everybody. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for joining the Dursa Network today, and we'll see you next time.